when people's livelihood is affected by the wisdom destroying all their gardens and houses, they have to do something for their own survival. The mind is discharging the uh, tellings through their wisdom. And in the wisdom, they found some of the gold they're supposed to extract it. It's escaping through the tellings and it's come out in the wisdom. The only option left after the entire uh, parcel of land for one particular clan is destroyed, they have no other place to go. The national government and company is supposed to give them replacement land or resettle the landowners. They fail to do that, so landowners go to the wisdom and fend for gold. That is to buy food for their kids. In the telly, there are chemicals coming out of it, like mercury or sunite or any other chemical they used in the mine. And we don't know how toxic those chemicals are, but people are risking their lives by going there to fend for gold, because that's the only way to survive. We have carried out some awareness campaign on how dangerous the chemicals are, like mercury poisoning and you know, sunlight poisoning and all that. We have done that. They are aware of it, but there is no way they can survive on that land. What can they give to their kids a time for dinner and you know, breakfast and lunch and all that? Even the kids themselves go and fend a goal because they need something to survive. They're making about 20 guinea per day, others when they're lucky, 100 guinea. When they are not lucky, they may not get anything at all. Mm -hmm. 20 to 40 guinea buy you a packet of rice and a tin fish, that's all. If you get a little bit more, you might buy your soap or you know, cooking oil, or kerosene. Those are people who depend on subsistence farming, like raising their chicken and pigs and things like that, to raise the school fee, there's no land for them to do that. All the land has been destroyed. <laughs>